be sharing with you how I style my photographs for Instagram. You're only going to need a few basic, basic things to get started and I shoot all of these photographs that I upload onto Instagram with my cell phone. I currently use an iPhone 6 but before this I've had an iPhone 4 and an iPhone 4S. You really don't have to have any fancy equipment to take beautiful photographs for Instagram and I'm going to show you how. So, let's get started. First of all, the biggest tip I can give you is lighting. As you can see, I'm in a room that's got white wallpaper, which really helps to diffuse and to reflect natural light. I'm not really into flash. I don't like using um, the incandescent lighting that we have um, on the roof because it just makes your photographs look too fake and too warm. What I'm wanting, I want bright, I want natural light in my photographs. So you can see behind me, I've got a big window. And on this window, I've actually got a blind. So if I open the blinds, you can see the lighting changes a lot. Right now the lighting is quite soft, but earlier this morning it was very bright. So I find having a blind, you could use a sheet or even just a piece of material over your window and it will diffuse your light and make it a lot softer. The second thing that I use for my product photography, that, that, so those are the photos that I upload onto Instagram, is a white background. Um, this goes with my brand. You'll be thinking a lot about your branding when you upload your photos to Instagram and what sort of feeling you want to convey to your readers and your followers. For me, I want my images to be soft and feminine and pretty. So I use a white background which really shows off the product really well. You'll notice if you go onto sites like Etsy, the photographs that stand out the most will have a white background because the white is not distracting and it really shows off the product. So I use this cheap piece of white foam board that you can find at any stationery store. You can see I've got writing um, on the top of my board because I use this as my background for when I'm doing periscopes. So it just is a nice easy way that you can convey your website and your social media accounts. So that's a great tip. I would suggest using this as a background for your periscopes. And um, yeah, otherwise you can flip the board like this and you can see you won't even notice this writing when I move it and you can just position your, your board. And I've also got, if you can see here, this is my surface that I'll be working on. It's a white chest of drawers. You don't have to have anything white at home because if your surface is not white, you can just take another piece of foam board and you can put it at the bottom and now you've got a beautiful white, clean, reflective surface to work on. If your background is not white, you can see my background is, I've got wallpaper here, which is white, but I've got these lines that you can see, they break up the photo and they're not exactly very nice. They don't create that nice seamless background. So what you can do again is to just use another piece of white foam board and place it as your background. Instantly, the, the photographs and your, your products that you're wanting to show off will be a lot brighter and show off a lot more beautifully. So, that's what I use for my background. I use a lot of natural light. And now I want to talk about the actual props that you use in your photographs. So for me, again, going back to what I mentioned earlier about branding, my City Girl Searching is my website and my blog. And with City Girl Searching, I use my color palette is a lot of soft pastel colors, creams and peaches and corals. So when I think about my props that I'm gonna be using and the things I want to use in my Instagram photos, I wanna carry on that branding, that those color schemes to help me keep everything consistent. So for me, I take my photographs usually on the weekend because I'm not at home during the day when you have the nicest light. Morning and afternoon is the best time to take photographs because any photographer will tell you the lighting in the early morning and in the late afternoon is very soft and gentle. So for me, I'm not at home in the morning and in the afternoon, so I take my photographs on the weekends. I usually set about an hour or two of time on a Saturday or a Sunday, and then I just take as many photographs as I can, making use of all the beautiful natural light. And you don't have to worry about it being a sunny day because your natural lighting will work well even if it's cloudy. You actually get better light if it's cloudy because the light is diffused. So today I'm gonna to show you, I'm gonna take photographs of some stationary objects, and I'm gonna take some photographs of some makeup to show you how I would style my next photograph for Instagram. So I'm gonna start off with my stationary photo. So I've got quite a few things on this tabletop that I don't need and I don't want to overcrowd my photograph. So I've got a very cute Christmas tree, but now that Christmas is over, I don't really want to be having that in my photographs. This mirror, I'm not doing a beauty photo, so I'm gonna take that off. 
inside this pencil holder you can see a lot of bright colors these will detract from my overall image so I'm actually not going to use any of the things that are in here and I'm going to instead go for very very simple I want to show off these products that I've got here and with nothing around it to be too distracting okay where I'm standing right now I'm blocking the light so I'm creating a shadow over all of these objects here so I need to actually move and turn around and then you'll see the light change and fall on the objects really well I've got these pencils so I'm going to be using them again there's a whole bunch of colors in this pencil box but I'm going to be choosing the pinks and the oranges and the browns because those are the colors of my brand okay I also really like washi tape so I've got a few rolls of washi tape again you can see the colors are this is gold and cream and soft pastel pinks and corals and these match my brand well so I'm going to include them in my photograph too I actually just use the built-in camera app on the phone to take my photos you can slide up on an iPhone to access the camera really quickly that's just a small tip that I learned a little while ago Oops. So I'm gonna make sure that I've chosen the square function because I want to upload a square photo to me that your lens is clean really makes a big difference to how clear your camera your photos come out I use a lot of the images that I take in this setting, I use them to put quotes onto and to actually create other graphics for my blog. So while I am shooting, I make sure to try and change the angles and get as many different looks to the photograph that I can, which then can later be used for different, different things on my website or on Instagram even. So this one isn't quite a flat lay, but I'm coming in quite close and just changing the angle of my camera and changing the angle of um, the props that I'm using. I've done the stationary one, I'm going to move on to a makeup shot now. So again, I'm choosing colors here that match my brand. So I've got a lot of pinks, I've got um, a lot of very pretty, very feminine objects. The makeup here in Korea is so beautiful that you really don't have to work hard to make it look nice. photographs of a particular product what I always do is take more than one photograph like I mentioned before and I change everything around maybe add a few more products maybe take a few things out change the angles so that I have more images to work with for blog posts later on or to overlay text on to later on it's basically you're building up a stock photo library for yourself and you really just have to spend a few extra minutes just changing the angles and changing the products move them around slightly and you've built up maybe 10 extra images on top of the one that you were going for in the first place. Okay, swiping up, getting my camera ready. joining and yeah if you have any questions about anything that I've mentioned here please leave me a comment below and I will get back to you as soon as I can thanks so much for joining me everyone bye